Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Back to the Cardboard. This is Shannon here, and this video is going to be a video response to Ken's Cardboard. Uh, he's doing a 500 sub giveaway contest, and uh, I don't normally do a lot of contests, uh, mainly just because it's time consuming and I don't know, there's not a lot of interest in it for me, but uh, this one here uh, seemed to be pretty fun. It's something I've not got to do uh, that I know of is show off some autograph cards, and that was his uh, qualifications for the contest. Like and uh, subscribe to him, of course, and uh, do a video of five or ten of your favorite autograph cards. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you five, maybe a couple little extra thrown in there. Uh, cards, uh, autographs of uh, some of my prize possessions. So let's flip the camera around and get right to it. Let's do it. Okay, the my fifth autograph, fifth place, number five in this contest, my display here is going to be this right here. It's this year's 2020 definitive collection of Barry Larkin uh, on, 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 card, on card auto number 2450 um, game used memorabilia. I don't know about you guys, but anytime you see game used, don't you just want to, you just want to touch it. Uh, pretty nice looking autograph. Pretty cool looking card, I think. It's a big thicky. See the back there. Definitive collection number five, my fifth most favorite autograph that I own. Just bought this not too long ago. Barry Larkin, 2020 Definitive Collection. Pretty sweet. And then next up, these cards here, well, they're not really cards. They're, well, they are cards, but not baseball cards. Postcards. You can see here, this is number four of my collection. Mr. Dale Murphy. Um, I sent these off, I think, in 84, 85. I've actually got three of these, and I'll show you the other one here in a second. But uh, I sent him a card, waited months, never got it back, like usual. Uh, this is back when players signed a lot in the major leagues, not so much anymore. Um, a lot of money involved now, but Mr. Murphy was always super kind. Great individual as well as a baseball player. Never made it to the hall. Just fell short, I think, in his numbers. I think there's still hope, but it's years down the road probably. But sent him a card. Never heard anything. Sent another one a month or so later. Now I believe this is in 84 or 85. And I'll, I'll explain that here in a second. But uh, then all of a sudden, about three or four months into the next season, started getting these back one after another. I ended up getting three total. He didn't sign my cards, he sent them back, but he signed these postcards, which I thought was really cool. And um, that's my number four, Dale Murphy. And then my number five was along the same line, same year, same time frame, I sent cards to Mr. Nolan Ryan, the Ryan Express, and got this back. Um, best I can remember, he did a pretty quick turnaround. Like I said, I believe this was in 84 uh, when I sent that, sent him some cards, never got any cards signed by him, but I did get this uh, postcard, so I thought that was pretty cool. Of course, I sent that one straight to the Braves and his straight to the Houston Astros. And uh, got the postcard in return, which I'm tickled to death with. Uh, and you can see there, Rafael Palmero uh, got him as well. And then on the back, there's my third Dale Murphy. You can see there, that is. So there's my third Dale. And it, at the time, that's all I had to put him in was this. Uh, scrapbook photo thing. I need to get them out there because it's kind of, get them out of that because it's kind of a sticky residue on the back. And then this, my friend, my friend George got this for me. Met, uh, if you guys can 
see that autograph there. It says, to George and Shannon, best wishes, Rick Pitino. Of course, at the time, he was a Kentucky basketball coach, and um, Rick was a uh, Louisville fan, or George was a Louisville fan, and seen uh, Rick at the airport, uh, ended up getting his autograph from me, not knowing that someday he was gonna be the Louisville head coach. But it's just kind of a bonus autograph thrown in there. So number four, Dale Murphy, and number three, Nolan Ryan. The next card I'm gonna show you is while we're on the, the Rick Pitino and Kentucky Wildcats, this is gonna be kind of hard to get in there. But you see here, my number two autograph is of none other than Big A.D., Anthony Davis. This is when he played for New Orleans. Uh, it's just a sticker auto, but hey, I'm happy to get it. Of course, now he's with the Lakers. But I remember watching Anthony, because I'm a big U.K. fan. Uh, living in Kentucky, you don't have any professional teams within the state. Cincinnati's the closest baseball team. That's why I follow Cincy. But we don't have any professional teams here in the state, so UK is our professional team, the Wildcats. And you either follow the Wildcats or Louisville. Um, so if you're in your right mind, you probably follow UK. But anyway, just kidding, UK, UL fans. But um, I was sitting in Rupp Arena December 3rd, 2011. Kentucky was playing North Carolina and been a great game back and forth and back and forth and it come down Kentucky got the lead 73-72 with about 13 seconds to go in the game um, North Carolina run the ball down to their but I'll tell you what watch this a chance for a second shot if you're North Carolina so that's at about the five second mark Marshall inside Zeller. Zeller lost the handle. Henson has it. He's blocked by Davis. No foul committed, and Kentucky will take it by one. Off the block by Anthony Davis. It was a matchup of shot blockers. We've been waiting all game long for Anthony Davis to have his presence felt at that end of the floor and he swats away the attempt for the lead by John Hansen. We get another look at it Jim. The young fella has shown tremendous poise all game long. Timed his jump perfectly and then North Carolina stunned by the block. Stopped playing. They still had time they had to a come ton to the of time, Jim, But they gave up on it. That shot was taken at about the four second mark. Inexplicably, the Carolina players can... Man, that just gives me goosebumps. I can't... Whew, awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, I was in the stands for that, and I tell you what, I was hoarse when I left there, but that was great times. But number two on my list of all-time autographs is this sticker autograph of Mr. A.D. Anthony Davis. And then last but not least, my number one autograph. I've showed this before. Um... It still amazes me to this day. Got a 1978 Tops All Star, well, it's a 78, of Johnny Bench that I got through the mail. Um, and I, the reason why I believe that the Murphy and the Ryan were signed in 84 is because I know I didn't do any TTMs in 83, but I'm pretty sure I did in 84. And Bench retired in 83, so. He still might have been getting mail and stuff at the stadium in 84. I don't know. He still might get mail at the stadium. <laughs> I don't know. But I might have sent this in in 84. could have been 85. But regardless, sent it to the Reds. He signed it and returned it to me. And it is my prized autograph of all autographs. Uh, of course, Bench was elected to the Hall of Fame in 89. And... Um, see the glare on the back of that but that is my number one favorite autograph through the mail any autograph I own is Johnny Bench how surprising huh but anyway hey guys I appreciate you tuning in be sure to check out Ken's cardboard big uh, Rockies fan big Bo Bichette collection going on and and I really 
he's really, really a man after my own heart because he is a big Pete Rose fan. Or at least he's got a pretty good Pete Rose collection. Uh, after my own heart there. So, hey, be sure to go to Ken's Cardboard and check him out. Subscribe to him and tell him that Shannon sent you from Back to the Cardboard. Until next time, folks. God bless you. God bless America. And peace out.